My name is Andy Smith. I'm a technical director with Motioneering. And today I'm going to give a brief demonstration of how our opposed pendulum tuned mass damper works. We have successfully employed this compact design to control wind-induced motions in several buildings. To start off with, I will show our simple pendulum. This is the most uh, basic implementation that we use to control uh, sway motions in a tall building. So here the red mass is our simple pendulum. The frequency of this is controlled by the length of cable participating. So you can see it can move any direction at the same frequency. Quite often with tall buildings though, we have to also address frequencies that are different in the orthogonal directions. Accommodate that. We add in something called a bi-tuning frame. So the bi-tuning frame allows the full length of the cable to still participate in this direction. When we go this way, the height of the bi-tuning frame is choked out, making the cable effectively shorter. So now you can see we still have the same frequency this way, but with the shorter cable, we have a higher frequency in this direction. Although the simple pendulum may be the easiest to implement, it has limitations in height. For tall buildings, generally the pendulum length required is much too long compared to the amount of space available on the top of a building. To accommodate this, we create the opposed pendulum damper. So we have our positive stiffness of our simple pendulum, and then we add in the negative stiffness of an inverted pendulum. So you can see this naturally wants to fall over all by itself. But if you go and link these together, the system is now stable. So both masses follow each other's vertical centers. But you can see now, we have a much longer period in this direction. However, by linking these pendulums together, we have a, a stable system now. We have created a long period, low frequency system. So you can see now this has gone from 1.6 to 0 0.8 hertz. And our bi-tuning still works. This way, we've gone from 1.8 to 1.2 hertz. By adjusting the length of the articulating struts, the length of the cable participating, and the ratio of the masses top to bottom, we can achieve any frequency you expect in a tall building. We can also massage the shapes and place them around to work with different spaces available. I hope this demonstration furthers your understanding of the opposed pendulum. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.